you chose to take a look at the Lunar Lancer. The Lunar Lancer is a foxy character. No, really, it is a fox. A crazy spear-wielding fox who is a follower of the Moon Goddess. He does not yet have a home biome. Sad, really. A homeless fox. This guy is as cute as he is deadly. And did I mention crazy? His passive lunacy grants him moon power when hitting enemies. This is shown as moons orbiting the Lancer. Once the moons are full, he will transform into a beast, increasing output damage by 50% and decreasing incoming damage by 25%. Also movement and attack speed is increased. While transformed, the other abilities gain bonus effects. You can't really rely on this boost as it is random when you will gain moon power, but it's still a great boost to damage and survivability. Upon activation, you will hear the fox say, Whoa! The grappling spear is the M2 ability, where the lancer throws his spear in an arc dealing damage on impact. Once the spear attaches to a wall or surface, the lancer can reactivate to extend a grapple and move to the spear's location. He will then deal even more damage if enemies are near. If lunacy is activated, the lancer instead teleports to the location. While being a funny gimmick skill, it doesn't provide enough DPS to be worth using all the time, making it very situational or plain useless. It is great for scaling hard to get reaches uh, if jump isn't that high. Using the crescent combo, the lancer swings his spear from one side to the other, dealing damage. Upon swinging back again and dealing even more damage, the lancer also stuns its targets for three seconds providing they are still alive. Having Lunacy activated will result in even greater damage and increase the stun duration to 6 seconds. This is the bread and butter skill for the Lancer and should be used as often as possible. Beware though, using it at low health can be very dangerous as you can't use flasks while the attack is being executed. The Lancer's ultimate blessing of the moon will send a massive spear down from the heavens that looks exactly like the spear you're wielding. This is a very nice touch and I approve of that. Every enemy in the spear's impact zone will receive massive damage and allies including the Lancer will receive increased stability, health and energy regen. Summoning the spear while in lunacy form will increase the damage and create meteors that bombard the area around. Really, meteors. Awesome! This ability is key to successfully dealing with bosses and large groups of minions. Just be careful where you are aiming as you can risk placing the spear on a different level than the enemies are at. As always, I won't be telling you what stats you should have on your gear. Instead, I'll give you my thoughts on what I think will work for this class. Since I'll be using the number one skill over and over, simply just spamming that button again and again, I'll need energy regen to keep it up. As the Lancer is a melee class and will get hit, I'll also need to ramp up my health with plus percentage to health and health regen. Attack speed is nice to have, but definitely not need to have, as I will be, at least most of the time, using the number one skill. For flasks, I'll be using either the bandolier or jug, combined with the martial emblem and maybe vampiric or chronomatic emblem, depending on whether I'm going for more survivability or being more supportive. As for pets, I'll be going for either Samantha or the better Prowling Shadow for survival, or even Raptor Berserker for even more damage and some survivability. In conclusion, 
the Lunar Lancer is definitely worth picking up. If not to play regularly, then at least for the mastery points. He's a lot of fun to play and he can become very powerful. He's a bit weaker on defense than the other melee classes. You might even call him a glass cannon. But I still think that his damage output and the stun rate along with the buff from Blessing of the Moon really makes up for this. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and remember to subscribe for more. Also leave me a comment if you like the Lunar Lancer or not. And if you want to check out one of the other classes, choose from the list here and I will see you soon. Cheers and stay cool. Anyone you like. Click it. Come on. Click. One of them. Just come on. You know what you, you want to, right? You want to know more. While you're just sitting there waiting, trying to figure out which one you want to see, just hit that subscribe button. Okay? Cheers. Pick me, pick me. Which one do you like most? Maybe the Dracolite or the Pirate Captain? The Candy Barbarian is sweet. Go on, click me already. Are you still watching this? Seriously, you haven't picked one yet. Come on. Maybe you need a guide to like point you in the right direction. It's right up there. Just pick any one of them. Just click it. Click that. What? That annotation. Or that one. Look at him glow. Look at that. Oh. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Move it! You can also add me to friends in game. The name's Shade Warp. Click it. Click, 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 click it, click, 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 click it. Click it. Click it. I can do this all day. Come on. Click that button. Two minutes and thirty and you haven't clicked anything. Come on. Go on now. At least the subscribe button then. Or the like button if you think this is a lot of fun. I do. Pick one. Pick one. Go on then.
Time's running out. Need to hurry. Five, four, three, two, one.